Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Ned from Nev's Sack Fits. Uh, lockdown has been declared just before Christmas, so so I better get my entertainment unit ready. The Terry's uh, mini PC I got it on Amazon a while ago. I finally broke down and got it on M SATA drive. Now you can get these drives off of Amazon. This uh, dogfish drive, nice and small and cute. You can also get a Kingston, but I want to try this off brand and open her up and see what she looks like on the inside, folks. So just one little clip, open her right up. And here we go. Take a look at this. So, the sticker looks kind of cheap. It's not on there very nicely. It doesn't have VRAM. It has this controller unit that I am familiar with. VRAM would definitely be better. If you don't have VRAM, some, sometimes the memory will actually take up uh, the job of the VRAM. Which, of course, wears it out really quickly. There we go. Okay, man, to get this in, you really gotta take the unit down to nothing. But anyways, I got it stripped down, got the uh, dogfish installed. Now let's get her going and see if it's faster than the SATA drive that I have installed here. One really strange thing about this unit is it has a uh, USB-C unit there. Maybe I'll test that during this next round. All right, now just for reference, this is what the internal EMMC gets. So let's give this another try with the internal SATA drive. So these are the results for the Kingston SATA SSD that I bought separately for this. Now let's compare it to the Dogfish. And here we have the results of that test. So it looks like the Dogfish is definitely uh, the predominant hard drive in this situation. The Kingston drive, I should say, that has been in there is it's, it's been around, so maybe that's why it's not as fast as this uh, MMC one. So I'm going to move the operating system in this. And one thing that I should say is that if you go into disk management, every time you install a new hard drive, that new hard drive comes up as hard disk zero. So I'm going to swap over to the operating system and see if I can get a faster benchmark result. Now, I just had to have another look at this USB-C female uh port that's on the top of this unit it seems to be almost completely useless the only thing i can use it for is to charge my phone i can't get any data off of it i tried my uh my thumb drive over there but absolutely did not work but we got three hard drives in here and this thing also takes usb 3.1 so we should be good to go with what we have but it is a little bit curious just what the frick was that port there for all right we're pimping this system up next up we're transferring over all of the uh main hard drive over to the dogfish dogfish is going to be our main hard drive and that should bring our video game benchmark score up and uh, let's see how long this is going to take transfer's all done only took 11 minutes not so bad so by this point i've managed to tweak this system out about as far as i can I have put in uh, more hard drive space and I have moved the operating system to the new hard drive. So I think that it's time to run a new benchmark and see if we can get a better baseline on it than I had previously. I'll come back to it when it gets to the video portion. Here we got DirectX 9, we're getting about 1 to 5 point, uh, well almost 6 frames per second. Definitely not the fastest I've seen these guys go. Next up we have DirectX 10 going from about 1.5 frames per second up to about 3. Next up we have DirectX 11 going at 6.69 frames per second. And of course the Space Jellyfish. Next up we have DirectX 12 going at 2.5 frames per second. I've seen slower. Not much, but I've seen slower. Okay, so that's definitely a better score than we had before. We had a score of 420, something like that. So it could be better. We still haven't been able to get any DirectX 12 off this thing. But um, yeah, the score has definitely been raised. As you can see, I've tried everything I could to get Fortnite running here, but it just won't work. Now, I'm not really the biggest Fortnite gamer, but you get a certain benchmark when you can run Fortnite. 
Next up, I'm going to try Grand Theft Auto 5 and see if it runs any better now. Alright, so now the only problem that I got is this Intel PTTEK uh, recertification service won't stop going off. That's freaking nuts. I gotta find a way to stop that in the BIOS and um, I, can just, I can just end it right here in processes though. I am just not having any luck with it this round. Man, I mean, I've already managed to install it and run it before at about three frames per second. It just ain't working. It ain't working after the latest update. Well, that's too bad. Let's face it though, in the end, there's only one thing that really matters, and that's, will it play Doom? Of course it will. Yeah, so that's about as far as I can max out one of these systems, the, the Teresa, Teresa. Will someone tell me how you pronounce that? Ultimately, it's not a bad box, my guys. Now, lastly, I'd like to say that I've tried running all three video ports at the same time, but I can only get an output of two videos, which is reasonable, considering the price. This unit will do basic things. It'll definitely do office things. But if you put it at too much hard work for too long, I do believe that you're setting yourself up to fail just a little bit just a little bit um for office though very good for basic things for media station very good once again definitely not for gaming but the price is so unbelievably low the only thing that might be cheaper is buying a used system but if you get something like this off of amazon you can return it no problem if you get a used system you might not be able to return it so easily but if you just need something easy for school for your children not for cad not for gaming this is definitely the way to go the dogfish is installed and that's about as much as we can upgrade this unit anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it from me now from those tech bits like and subscribe if you like this stuff always appreciated as always folks take care of each other